Marlene Lissou, I come from France. I'm a material researcher and product designer. Today I'm showing uh, two different materials that are coming from two different insects. I come from a family of beekeepers, so I've been exploring bioresin. Basically, the material comes from trees. The bees, they collect it and they use it as a sealant on top of a honey tray. And once a year, the beekeeper has to remove this material in order to extract the honey. You have different properties depending on the trees. And the one that I was exploring is from rubber trees and it has this really unique glass aspect. That's why I worked a lot with different glass techniques. So I developed a collection of vessels and it was really interesting to see that sometimes the material was easier to manipulate than the glass. The smell is coming from the beehive, so it's really strong and it will last a long time. So if you want a piece, you're going to have a smell with it as well. <laughs> the second insect we worked with was a silkworm cocoon from the food production in India. They eat the worm from the cocoon and the cocoon is kind of a leftover from the production. It's like an onion, so it has different layers of fibers and then it contains an amazing natural glue that will fuse all the fibers together and you can make a really strong paper out of it. And then I used the bee bioresin as a varnish on top of it. So this new material is really similar to leather and it can be used like in fashion and furniture. For the moment it's really a craft project. So for example, I could have uh, created a machine uh, to extract the layers of fibers, but I didn't because I really wanted to push this craft aspect. I don't see it as a, uh, an industrial potential because bioresin, it's super precious, at less than 100 grams per hive per year. It's more a celebration of showing the properties of this material.